you welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a quick get ready with me video um, just showing you guys what I do on a daily basis um, my face makeup basically I'm not gonna be doing my outfit because I'm already late for class so I gotta go but just to show you guys what I do on a daily basis for class just this like gold eyeshadow with a pop of color on the outside I'm going to say all the subscribe down below, make sure you thumbs this video up, and leave all your comments below if you have any. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. Bye guys. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing I do is put on my astringent. I'm using the Seabreeze Sensitive Skin Astringent. You can get it anywhere, any drugstore I'm pretty sure carries it it's like three dollars but this just helps my pH balance and keeps my skin from getting extremely oily throughout the day so I always put this on anytime I wash my face then the next thing I'm going to use is my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel love this stuff it's so lightweight and it blends it goes on so smooth and I use it daily so I love it put it on put it on rub it in rub it in then I'm gonna put on some Vaseline because your lips have to be moisturized if you want to put on some lipstick. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I know they're looking crazy, but excuse them. I'm trying to grow them out. Um, just using a pencil to uh, outline my brows. But first, I'm going to use a spoolie and just brush my brows, make sure everything is going in the same direction. Then I'm going to use the pencil. And the pencil I'm using is the Nika K Eye Pencil. Just use this to draw out my brows. Uh, I don't fill it in with the pencil. I just make sure they're the same shape, the same size, and everything like that. So I'm going to use that and just draw my eyebrows out. Make sure they're the same size and everything. Then I'm going to take an angled brush. It really doesn't matter which kind of angled brush. And I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Brow Kit. And you can get this at Walgreens, Walmart, Ulta. I think that's pretty much it. Then I'm going to take the dark brown powder and I'm just going to start filling in my brows. Um, I do cover up the pencil that I use because they're not the same color. So you want your brows to be the same color. So that's what I do. I just trace it back over and then I go ahead and fill it in. And um, if you want your brows to look a little bit um, like have that gradient effect, which I don't do. But if you want that, then you want to try to focus most of the powder in the middle of your brows and then use whatever is left over towards the um, inside of your brows but I don't do that but if that's what you want to do then that's how you do it then I'm just gonna brush them out again try to get um, some of that color off because I don't want it too dark so I'm just gonna brush both of them and then I'm gonna go in with my concealer to clean everything up and the concealer I'm using is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW45 this is two shades lighter than my actual skin tone, so it's going to brighten under my eyes as well as um, clean any imperfections that I have. So um, since I have some hairs that need to be plucked, I'm just going to cover those up with this concealer. Then I'm going to blend that out, make sure it's um, even and kind of blend it into my skin tone even though it's two shades lighter. Next step is very important to me because I love my eyeshadow sticks to stay on throughout the day. And if you need help with that, then you need this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, you don't need this exact one. I know Elf has one for a dollar, so that's always great. It helps your eyeshadow stay on super, super long. Then I'm going to use the Paint Pop from MAC in Painterly. This makes my eyeshadows pop. Like, it's just one of those things that if you need a base and if you if your eyeshadows don't show up as well on your skin tone, then you need Painterly. The first eyeshadow I'm using is from MAC and it's called Texture. I'm just going to put that under my brows. Then this one is Brown Down. I'm just going to put this in my crease and kind of bring it up towards my brow. So it's not going to be exactly in my crease because I'm just using this as a transition color to kind of help me uh, with my blending. And I do this every day. Then I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take Expensive Pink, which is kind of like a peachy golden shade. Love this for any daytime look, any morning. If you're going to work and you want to look kind of awake, I suggest kind of a shimmery golden champagne color on your lid because it just makes you look that more awake and bright eyed. 
and I'm gonna put this a uh, little bit over my crease because I have squinty like little eyes so to kind of make my eyes look bigger and have my eyeshadows actually show up when my eyes are closed or yeah when my eyes are open I mean I'm just gonna bring it above my crease and I'm gonna put a little bit of this inside of my um, in like my tear duct area to kind of brighten that area up and I'm gonna put it over the whole lid so yeah and pack it on as much as you want because um, I don't know if you want a lot of color payoff then you're gonna pack it on pack it on pack it on until you get your desired effect so that's what I'm doing right now Make sure both sides are even and everything like that. Then I'm gonna take, oh, I guess I didn't like that brush, so I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna just take Sketch, which is this nice purple color. Now, this is optional, you can use any color if you want to just use neutrals or a brown color, you're more than welcome to. I just like to use a pop of color on my outer um, V area. I'm just gonna make like a V shape on that um, area and kind of make like a wing. Then I'm gonna do it to both sides. Make sure both sides are even and evenly dark with that color, saturated with that color. I don't know what I'm saying to something. I think I was listening to Pandora. Oh, I know what it was. Uh, Chris Brown, Ain't Nobody Busy. But anyway, I'm going to take Sugar Pill. Um, and this is the Burning Heart palette, and I'm going to take this purple color, which is Poison Plum, with a pencil brush, and just put it in my lash line, as well as in my crease. And I'm just going to concentrate that color right there. Don't bring it any higher, any lower, anything like that. Just in that area, because you want this color to be um, saturated right in that area, because we are gonna we want to build it up and make this color be kind of the focal point. So... I'm just going to put that on, then I'm going to blend it out, and make sure you blend it, um, you know, blend it in. You don't want any have, you don't want to have any harsh lines. I'm going to try, kind of take it, um, halfway into my crease, so, i going to blend that in. I'm gonna do it over again because I like I said I want the color to actually show up so if you have a problem with your eyeshadows like not showing up then just repeat the process until you get the desired effect so I'm just gonna blend it out again hopefully this is the last time was so I'm gonna use texture to clean up any um, harsh lines or if I didn't blend something out this is what I use I just use the brow color that I use on my brows and clean anything up I'm gonna take my liquid liner which is the L'Oreal linear intense liner I love this stuff and I swear by it if you're having problems with your eyeliner doing wing eyeliner or just regular eyeliner in general this is a great one to start with I'm just gonna line my eyes and kind of do a small wing Then I'm going to bring out my mascaras. The first one I'm going to use is the Grow Luscious Plumping Mascara from Revlon. Love this stuff. It's so black. It's like the blackest mascara I've ever found. And that's basically what I use it for is the pigmentation. And I just put it on my eyelashes evenly, you know, get that blackness on there. Then 
Then I'm going to take my favorite mascara, which is the Glam Eyes Mascara from Rimmel. And this one is the perfect lengthening mascara. It combs your eyelashes out beautifully and makes everything look nice. So I'm going to go back with that uh, Burning Heart Palette from Sugar Pill, take the purple color, put it on my lower lash line pretty much 75% um, of the way in and then I'm just going to leave a little bit out because we're going to be taking the expensive pink eyeshadow that I use on my lid and putting it right there in the corner to kind of brighten the eyes and make us look more awake and more, you know, alive in the morning. Then I'm going to take my last mascara which is the Big Eyes from Maybelline I believe and I'm just going to take the small side and get my lower lashes because this is like the smallest brush I have ever run across and it's perfect for your lower lashes and it does an equal job putting um, you know making your eyelashes look nice and long so then I'm going to take my foundation which is actually the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW47 and I'm just going to take a stippling brush this one happens to be from MAC but you can use any brush that you have even if it's not a stippling brush I'm just going to blend my ma I mean blend my mascara blend my foundation in and yeah Make sure you blend, you know, around your jawline, around your hairline, and you don't have any, like, stark lines where your hair meets your face, because then you'll just look like you're having a mask, and that is not good. I've done it before, and people do comment. So, anyway, blend it in, make sure you bring it all the way around your face. Then you're going to take your concealer, and I just use this to have, you know, like the brightening effect under my eyes. This is great for the morning time as well if you want to brighten your face up and look more awake. I'm just going to take a stiff, like, dense brush, wet it a little bit, and blend out my concealer. The concealer I'm using, by the way, is the Fit Me Concealer number 30 in Cafe. Great concealer for my complexion. It's a little, you know, you can see it's a lot brighter than my complexion, maybe four or five shades brighter and it just makes me look awake in the morning so I'm just gonna blend that in and if you have any mistakes with your under eye um, eyeshadow this will also clean it up so just blend it out bring it up to your temples all that good stuff then I'm gonna take my Ben Nye powder in Topaz which is like a light brown powder and I'm just gonna dust this under my eyes to set my concealer then I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder, which this is actually a foundation, but I just use a little bit for a setting powder for my face. Don't take a lot because then you'll look like a cake face, so just take a small amount and just dust it all over your face and blend it in. Make sure you get all those, um, you know, soften everything up with your powder. Then I'm going to take my contour powder, or this is just a bronzer actually, it's not an actual contour. Don't use a contour powder on a daily basis, but I just use a bronzer, bronze my cheekbones, my jawline, and bring it up to my temples just to put some extra color into my face and bring a little bit of a dimension to my face because if you just have on foundation, I feel like you just have a flat face, like not literally a flat, a flat face, but your face makeup just looks flat. So I'm just going to dust that everywhere. Then I'm going to take a purple blush. This one is from MAC and it's called Dirty Plum. Love this. This is my all-time favorite blush. If you have to get one blush from MAC, I would suggest Dirty Plum. It goes through every season and I love it. And I'm just going to take a little bit and dust it on my cheekbones as well as towards my temples. And just give me a little bit of color on my face. Didn't know what lipstick I wanted to wear, so this is the combo I came up with. I'm using Freckle Tone first, which is like a light, nudie, beigey color. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on, blend it in. Then I'm going to take a pale brown, which is um, called Fresh Brew. I'm going to put that over it. And then to bring a little bit of color to my lips, I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. It's just a nice, warm, pink color. I'm just going to use a little bit of that and blend it on my lips. And I'm done. So that is what I do daily. The eyeshadow look may change a little bit, but that is pretty much what I wear, you know, every day when I go to school. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.